Hi, this is the Vacuum and Someone Doctor. Well, today we're going to show you how to repair a rainbow vacuum cleaner. So on a rainbow vacuum cleaner, we're going to show you how to change the belt and how to change the filter or blow out the filter. So on a rainbow vacuum cleaner, some of the biggest things that we have going on is we're going to have to learn how to replace a belt on the machine. Easiest way to replace a belt is you just open that up like this. The belt will be inside the machine here. There's a little metal spindle there. And you just lift that up and your roller brush would come out just like that. Now you also want to check this end here for any types of clogs. So what I would recommend to see if you have a clog or not, just open it up, take a dime, drop the dime in, and if the dime comes out the other end there, you know you don't have a clog, so you don't have to worry about it. But when you go to put a new roller brush in, which this is a new roller brush, and yes, we sell roller brushes. You're going to put it on like this here. Now you're going to take a screwdriver and just stretch the belt on just like that there. You're going to close that up here. You're going to put the bottom plate on. And some of them have a little dial here. You'll go to lock it there and it locks. Okay, so you got a new roller brush, a new belt, and you know the machine's not clogged. So let's head over to the main unit over here. Now the next thing you want to do is check really quick to see if you have a clog inside your hose here. Same thing. What you can do here is take a dime, drop the dime in, and if the dime comes out the other end, you have no clog. So now you know your hose is ready to go. Now back to the main unit. This is the main unit of the machine here. There, there is a main motor inside here, and the main motor you never really want to take apart. But you do have a separator here. You can take the separator off. You need to take the separator off, clean this with soap and water, and brush it. Put the separator back on. And just hand tighten them. You don't want to use a screwdriver or you can damage the threads on the motor there. So just hand tighten it there. So pretty much on the main unit, that's all we got to worry about there, is that. And there is a filter in the back. So we come back into the back of the unit here and the filter part, probably the easiest way to get to the filter on this one here is, you lift up a tab here, you lift up a tab here, and right here is the main back HEPA filter. So on the main back HEPA filter, you can blow it out or we do sell replacements. Come into me and ask me for a replacement filter. We'll have them for you. So you put the filter back in the machine. Like that. Now you put the back piece back on. Just like that. You're done with that. Snap this back into the tank. Your cord will just wrap around like this here. So you'll wrap the cord all the way around. You've already checked this. You've cleaned the filter. You've cleaned the separator. Now, put the hose back in because you've already checked the hose. You know the hose has no clog. Now you just put this back onto your unit here because you know there's no clog here and you got a new belt. Very simple to repair. We're done.